I do the topic skiing or carving in schools with children so that they get the feeling what is carving, what is race carving. So going on the edge. So I like to do that in on a flat area for the beginning and then uh, we go up a little bit steeper and we try to do that with exercises. Okay. So we take the poles and uh, put them between the legs and then uh, we just push the knees left and right. But go more straight, less out the point. So um, next exercise is uh, put the hands across and push with your hands the knees inside uh, the turn. But stay also very straight in the beginning, just a little bit. Wait, what is the ski doing? Or you ski doing? Another exercise, uh, we switch from beginning exercise and uh, we try uh, or we put the, the poles on the knees and we push with our fingers the knees and help with our knees. For the, for the legs, for the feet, and now we're going a little bit up for our upper body, more and more, so that this the upper body is also stepping. See down here with another exercise, the inside knee up to the mountain, you press it, push it up to the mountain, and you put the up your hand down the hip, and then you change side. So, uh, Next side it's a little bit more difficult because before I put the hands here and can push them. Now you have to feel it. So the poles we can take them in the middle and we can push the knees a little bit to help. Last exercise. So it's a, it's called a single touch. So we lean inside, try to put the inside hand into the snow. Have the outside leg uh, straight and uh, the inside leg bent. Beginning exercise, we put the poles together so that we get long poles that we can see how our upper body is. We try not to rotate, so we put the upper hand in front and the downhill hand in the hips and then we change and just when choosing choosing position and just let the knees go left and right so that you get this, the feeling race carving in short terms and the feeling for race carving with some different exercises so uh, we try to let them feel back and not to say too much. But you can you can handle it as you want. And if you think it's it's better to get some uh, uh, feedback, just do it. And I hope there were a few exercises you can make with you and try. If not, try it away. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you if you want to What are the top three takeaways from the presentation? Um, I liked how they uh, talk about kids and getting kids involved and showing them, giving them an experience that will lead to an outcome that uh, is, is higher in performance racing. Try to get them in that that uh, pipeline. Although they didn't talk about um, any other type of skiing, uh, you would have to assume that they do the same for for other types of skiing. This was just the example that they chose, which was cool. Um, I like how they used, um, they built the drills from the bottom, from the skis up through the upper body. Um, they used drills, not for the sake of a drill, but the drill was to move a very specific body part. So for me, the third takeaway was that it went from manipulating movements, body parts, to associating uh, body parts. Yeah, that was good. Um, so, they started, for example, with their knees, and you pushed your knees from side to side, and then you started to, as, as 
you got better and better at that, they started to associate that movement um, with another movement or with doing something else so that it's not manipulated, but you have to do that movement. Uh, that was my third takeaway. One of the things I thought was really cool was uh, how they were so focused on the outcome that the arrangement of tasks sometimes was not that important. At different times, there were tasks that, that would put you on the inside ski, but still get the sensation of a carving outside ski, even though it wasn't weighted. So some of it was would have been some detrimental mechanics that went into the ski, but still it was a very valid task because it generated the sensation that was being asked. What I thought was unique or, or innovative, uh, pro probably more unique, is that they were focused on the sensations, not on necessarily the mechanics, like Jonathan said, of doing a task, but they were more concerned about the feelings and sensations of what it felt like uh, from the, the ground or the snow up through your body when you did those tasks. Um, I thought that was a great focus or, or, or an idea. The, the, the topic was experience the feeling and they focused totally on what the sensations and feelings were that, that you were getting from doing all the different tasks that we did. Um, another thing that I felt was pretty innovative is I asked him how much time do you spend developing uh, each one of those tasks and he said, you know, really very little. We just have them do it and then I'll give feedback. And, and I think our membership looks at a lot of the tasks and, and there may in some cases be unnecessary development going on for the sake of things to do. They knew exactly what they wanted to do. They had a task to do it. They asked them to do it and uh, coached them on the feeling.